hi everybody this is Julissa thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel um, today is Thursday January 7 2021 and as everybody knows you guys um, what happened yesterday was a unprecedented um, event unprecedented events things that um, are really shocking the fact you know not even looking let's 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 just be clear here let's not even look at the fact that people were able that people were protesting but the fact that people were able to storm the capital of the u.s i mean where is the security like i mean they knew what was coming on the sits and they failed to prepare for that but they are using that their fell preparation to blame the president for that and people you guys can have your different opinions that's that's okay i have my uh, my personal opinion too um the reason i'm talking like this is because in the past hours after that happened um the president has been completely attacked attacked verbally um I, apparently nobody likes him nobody likes him here in the US I feel like guys at the end of the day um, people in leadership they deserve respect especially when you're talking about the leader of a nation um, you you have some some type of respect thing you know I'm not saying to admire somebody who perhaps have done like um, a lot of crimes and things like that but looking at his history and looking at his last four years, the fact that everybody seems to be turning on him is quite alarming. It's quite alarming to see the vice president of the U.S. go against the president. It, it excuse me, it was very surprising for me. Um, I had noticed that my pants has been a little bit in the shadows since the whole election happened people some people are even saying he changed right after taking the vaccine who knows but I'm, all i'm saying is that um to see in a twitter company a, the company that runs twitter saying they're not gonna let the president of the u.s use their platform for i believe it was 48 hours and facebook just banned the president from posting for the rest of his presidency i mean we're talking about the president of the u.s and they're using this um there's a there, there's a name for what they're doing and i mean if they want to if and i'm saying they you know who i'm talking about the people who orchestrate this whole thing the the way they want people to follow the masses i mean the way they throw out things at you and then you see it everywhere in every channel so that you can follow what they want to do um they have orchestrated this campaign against taking down president trump even so much so that he has 13 days left in his presidency and they confirmed biden last night so we know biden is the new president that's gonna be inaugurated. Even so, we all know that Biden is gonna take power. Even so, President don't have 13 days. They don't want to let him finish. And they're, uh, they're orchestrating this idea to make him look like he is the worst person in the entire world. Because when you see, just, first of all, let, it started with Mike Pence not supporting the president. And then you see everybody else just coming against him um that's what you call i mean it happens in the workplace when you, your supervisor is no longer interested in you you can come in in the morning and say good morning to them and they heard a complete different thing because in their mind they don't want to see you ever again so what they do is they call the mobbing uh, attack they make everybody else hate on you for whatever reason it is because at the end of the day they just want their plan to be succeeding as long as they take you out no matter what so right now these people are not even going to want to let the president finish Ten, 13 days left they don't want to let him finish he is banned from twitter facebook from everything 
Pelosi is saying that she wants to invoke the impeachment. She wants to get him out. Um, she wants Mike Pence to do so. It's just, I feel like they want to say what happened yesterday was a disgrace to the nation. I think what they're trying to do with President Trump is also a disgrace and it also shows that we really, <laughs> they, their agenda, whatever they want to pass on, is going to come through because they are the ones who manage the big corporations. They manage, you know, that's why when the pandemic hit, you had only select the store being allowed to be open. Um, it's just, I mean, President Trump, to be honest, guys, he can come out today because he is trying to, um, I mean, yesterday he, he sent the message and they're saying now he said it the wrong way. That's what it is. When people don't want to no longer have a relationship with you, you can bring them flowers and cake. Then they don't want it. And you can say, I am sorry what I did. I should have used a different type of wording. They don't want to hear in their mind, you're the enemy. And they want to make sure when people are attacking you in that level of attack, which very is witchcraft, because when you go and select people to go against you, and your character and you no longer use taking their apologies anymore and you gather the crowd and everybody else to follow your your thinking you're you're using some a form of a form of witchcraft um witchcraft to get your agenda passed through and believed by others this happens in workplaces people it's called workplace mobbing you can be um attack out of nowhere just because you might have answered the different way to your boss so what they do is because they are in power they make sure everybody else hates on you and suddenly the friendly co-worker that you had can no longer even look at you anymore they can even talk to you or say good morning back to you and then you question everything you ever done because you're like, what happened? Why is everybody being so mean to me? The reason is that they're using a form of witchcraft on you and they no longer want to see you. So they they are, you know, making sure everybody else hates you for for a stupid reason. They, you can apologize 50 times, they don't care. This is what they're doing to President Trump. And people think that they can get away with, um, with doing bad things, guys they have no idea what's coming their way because if i mean god is seeing everything god is not gonna be like oh god doesn't forget nothing escapes god nothing escapes god he sees everything that's happening he you know god talks about you know falsely accusing somebody and this is what happens you know in and I'm talking about this because that happened to me before. Workplace people, people in top positions at work, managers, supervisors that work, and they think that they, they're gonna get away with doing you wrong and accusing you of things that, things that you never done. They think they're gonna escape God because they think that just because they're in power, they can do whatever they want. God is everything. And it's just a matter of time. And this is what's what's gonna happen and I'm saying this because I do believe that President Trump is very alone right now of course he might you know he can have his immediate family who's always been there for him oh, thank God but I feel you know for him some type of pain because of Mike Pence because he, Trump selected him to come to with him through the presidency years to get that support from him. And that's what happened. Yes, that can happen to anybody, but when you see everybody else hating on him, um, there's they no longer have respect for him. I mean, he's he is trying to come out and apologize once again, even though he did yesterday. When you get to that point that people are not even, they don't even care anymore, to hear your apology, they are, you know, that just tells you that people are, they using some, a form of witchcraft from you. And you know what happens when people play with the darkness and they think they're gonna, <laughs> years can pass, like they might not see the, you know, anything back from that, but they will at some point in their life, 
if not them, their families and their kids and every, you know, it falls into your family. Um, so I just want to say, let's just pray for, for President Trump. Everything that's been happening, I feel like people, um, it can be very ignorant in the things they say. People, I mean, I had supervisors, guys. I had tough supervisors, but I might not want to, let's say, you know, invite them to a birthday party or something, but I do respect the way they work. I think what President Trump had was um, a bad rapport in the sense that people were like, oh, I don't like his attitude, so I'm going to vote for Biden. Um, and that's so ignorant when you're selecting the leader of a nation. Um, and this is only if you still believe in the election, because I know a lot of people since yesterday, they no longer believe in that. Um, they're going to pass the agenda no matter what. They're going to pick who they want no matter what. But what I'm saying is uh, you have to understand too. Um, just because, okay, so you have two options to pick from. And just because you don't like somebody's attitude doesn't mean that they, they, they're not equipped to do the job. They may not, you know, it's like everybody has a different personality. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, there are bosses that you might not want to hang around with them, like, in the weekends or you don't sit with them at the picnic company. But you appreciate their leadership skills. You understand um, they're very just when it comes to... Um, implementing ideas and things like that, implementing the workplace, being fair with the time and everything like that. Um, but people were like, you know what, I'm sick of Trump, I'm going to vote for Biden without investigating who Biden is, who Kamala Harris is. And I really hope, guys, that this doesn't fall on us. Um, I really hope that in a few days we're not going to be like, oh man, I wish it would be, it was October 2020 once again because times were a lot better back then i mean anything can happen but just recently we had the white house um representative come out and talk sorry uh what is her name i thought it was um i know what i noticed about her was that she was wearing a yeah, there she is. She was wearing the um, the cross necklace, and she seemed like she was, um, you know, it's so crazy because I really don't know much about her. Um, her name is uh, Kelly McKinney, McNanny, Kelly, Kelly McNanny, something like that. Um, but anyways, I don't know much about her, obviously. I don't even know her name. I have to Google her. That's what I was doing. So she came out on the presidency, and I see this lady, um, which is totally trying to keep it together. You can totally see, see that on her. And I was just, you know, what I, I, I'm watching her, and I'm recording it to show you guys. This is what I came to me, and I was thinking, because when I saw the cross, and I saw herself kind of putting herself together, I immediately thought, oh, wow. What a job her God has given this young, you know, lady. I don't know how old she is, guys. Obviously, I don't know, but what I got from it, it's like, wow, she has a lot of responsibility. And, you know, that's, I just feel like, I just feel so, like, um, it's so strange. I just feel kind of, like, happy for her that she, I know it's different times and everything like that. Things are tough, but when I saw her come out and, put herself together and give that speech what she just talked about and I just saw like God had put her in that position it's almost like God gave, gave her that position so that's that's just a sign off from you guys um but uh, for you guys but anyway so she was talking about um that the White House um condemned what happened yesterday they want to press charges to everybody who um who participated in all of that um so okay i'm not gonna say it. i'm just gonna show you guys i did record it um what she said so that you guys can see in case you haven't um you know i feel like we should just start praying i have said in previous videos before guys let us prepare um let us prepare because we have somebody who was elected and he was confirmed yesterday 
I mean, he was the the chosen one, they say yesterday. But he actually said that the minute he starts his presidency, he wants 100 days of mask. Everybody mandatory mask. Um, the, the weird thing about that comment that he said was that we have been wearing masks for the past, you know, nine months or whatever, since March. So he might come out and say, oh, you know, that's not what I actually meant, this or the other. Um, we all know the cases. They say the cases are going on everywhere. We don't know what the plan is going to be. I mean, we know how this story ends of life. All I'm saying is like, you know, we as children of God should be prepared for whatever comes. And by saying that, I mean like, you know, food, essentials and things like that. Um, so, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what she said. And, um, she, you know, the White House press secretary denounced violence uh, rioters at the Capitol. So that's what happened. She came out around 5.15, so about just an hour ago. So here you go, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. The day after a historic church burned amid violent riots, and I said this, the First Amendment guarantees the right of the people to peaceably assemble. What we saw last night in Washington and across the country was not that, end quote. Make no mistake, what we saw yesterday afternoon in the halls of our Capitol, likewise, was not that. We grieve for the loss of life and those injured, and we hold them in our prayers and close to our hearts at this time. We thank our valiant law enforcement officers who are true American heroes. What we saw yesterday was a group of violent rioters undermining the legitimate First Amendment rights of the many thousands who came to peacefully have their voices heard in our nation's capital. Those who violently besieged our capital are the opposite of everything this administration stands for. The core value of our administration is the idea that all citizens have the right to live in safety, peace, and freedom. Those who are working in this building are working to ensure an orderly transition of power. Now it is time for America to unite, to come together, to reject the violence that we have seen. We are one American people under God. Thank you very much.